I like the idea of if we can explore this new alternative that Alex has given us about not blowing up the station, I am really down with a version of this where we all pay for our crimes. Like, I almost feel like Morgan, it, the more we learn about Morgan before everything that happens, like, we're just as complicit and we're just as evil as I was thinking Alex was all game. So I almost feel like it's the coward's way out to blow up the station. Like we should expose what we've done here. We should go and show everyone the true perverse nature of the experiments we were performing. And if it means that Morgan is held in history as, you know, an, a terrible criminal, like good because <laughs> that's what we deserve oh hi hi bud appreciate you coming by I like how we killed him before oh no it was updating it I thought we killed him before it popped up to say to evade him oh there's a coral node right over here hang on or is that saying I go outside for the coral mode? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's pointing me towards that because we opened the airlock. That's the fun part. What version of Morgan are you? Or rather, which one do you not want to become? Well, that's the interesting thing, right? Is like, I had kind of, I enjoyed the story of this game just as we were playing it. And for the longest time, it seemed pretty cut and dry. But it's showing so much more nuance now that I know more about the players involved. Um that I almost don't know how much I like Morgan anymore. Like, I was really rooting for Morgan early. Damn it. I hit the wrong button. I was rooting for Morgan early, but now I think Morgan kind of sucks. So, like, do we, do we go from, like, a victim on an escape mission to becoming, like, an angel of redemption that's going to make some kind of uh oh that just straight up kills a mimic now huh makes some kind of like redemption for the sins we created i think that's the way i'm leaning right now yeah so like if i had done if i had done the Hello, water treatment thing that would have just re recouped my sigh diagnosing Learning your past slowly and it's up to player to determine who he is now. Who you are now based on the information and choices. It's a really interesting concept and it makes more sense now that we have had like several branch points in the narrative. Like more so than a normal game of this type. They've given me a lot of things that I can solve in multiple ways. And not even just like solve them in multiple ways. Like what set of powers do you want to use? Um... Even like the core concept of the game, they give me the choice of whether or not I want to be using human neuromods or embrace the Typhon neuromods. So it's like it's built into the very DNA of the game, which I think is very clever. I'm curious as to where these phantoms continue to come from, even though we've been killing phantoms um and like they've got to be running out of people to infect to make more phantoms right where is igwe's room next door i remember killing everyone on site got quite lonely without january and blowing up the place I can imagine that if you went like full scorched earth policy in this game, it would get real weird. Igwe's computer. We already read that. So what are the things he wanted me to get in here? Are they on his computer? Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. It wasn't even close. We got it. All right. The Psy Hypo Fab plan. From Bianca Goodwin to Dio Igwe. 
Dr. Igwe, I relayed your previous request. Yeah, so this was him setting up the meeting with the dude. Um, I did not do the treasure hunt quest. This must be him with Lightner. We have the most of the stuff I needed for the treasure hunt quest, but I don't I didn't do it. Like I have the maps, I guess is what I'm saying. Moonrock statue. Didn't he say the things were in here? Retrieve Gustav Lightner's connector room from Igwe's quarters. Understand. I see it. It's telling me to see it. Is there a way in over there that I'm not understanding? Oh shit, you're right. He gave me an audio log. Don't mind me, Igwe. I just shot a bunch of shit in your uh, quarters because I forgot how the game works. All right, so we have that. What else did we just get there chipset wise? Fear shielding isn't terrible. What would I take off instead? Mimic detection. I'm not horribly worried about mimics anymore. We've kind of reached a mimics aren't as terrifying situation, but fear shielding kind of sucks. Or fear, fear shielding doesn't suck. Fear sucks. And then I have room for two more of these that we've just not done. Uh, blows that would otherwise kill you leave you with one health instead. Hell yes. And we gotta go. I know we gotta go outside anyway, so we'll take a zero G one. The lock was key to the first concerto Lightner played. It was the first time Maya heard him, and we were both. I felt small in the light of his skill. I can play it now too, thanks to a neuromod, but only in my head. You used a guest neuromod. I copied their neuro scans and hid the data on my transcribe fabricated my own mods. I'm not proud of the act. Now, I'm glad I did. Calstro. Keeping a, a not so tidy uh, quarters here, my dude. I don't want to alarm you, but has been a launch from the Argus platform. Board of Directors has caught wind of the situation here. I suppose it was inevitable despite my efforts. That's why it's important we act quickly, decisively. They'll try to take this out of our hands, Morgan. From Alex to Hans. Deja Vu has set in again. Retracing steps is going to be a little harder this time. Seems that Miller's staff was not properly recording data, so all the progress they made since the last department-wide removal... Uh, is in jeopardy. We'll need to temper our expectations. Wiping the memories of the entire department is a tremendous setback, and I'm beginning to question the practice versus the results we've seen. We should revisit the staggered system we discussed last year. Get them scheduled. And sorry, Hans. Can pairs not going to make an appearance. And then they do give you a periodic table of the elements here in case you don't Google that quest. You can cheat the treasure hunt quest by looking up the code online. It gives you a chipset that only gives you negative effects. You have to find the numbers to negate it. Oh, so you're saying that if we get the chipset by just cheesing it, it's garbage. But then if you go and actually do the steps you should have done, it actually winds up being good. That's pretty fun. We don't have Elazar's key card. How much running around does that quest take? Because, like, they're pretty... They're not exactly super obvious, right? 
Where are they even? ELB. So it's something basement or floor deck B. What else we got here? All right, so we got to go back to our office to kind of face uh, face the consequences of the two quests we just did for those guys. Imposter uh, Cook, we can track if we go check the Neuromod volunteer quarters. So maybe we'll go backtrack and do that right quick. Because I would love to put a bow on that. That guy sucks. Um, maybe we'll leave through the airlock in deep storage so that we can go scan the coral outside. Did he learn the whole truth yet? I don't know the whole truth of anything. It seems like every time I think I have the whole truth here, they introduce me more untruths or reverse truths. See you again, Dr. Yu. Oh, I was going to heal with you, but I don't even need healing. It's a rare moment for me. I'm sure some Typhon will uh, relieve me of my perfect health record momentarily. Oh wait, where's that engineering at? Well, no, I don't have much suit degradation either. So wait, is it... This is to the bridge, not worried about that. Let's head outside from deep storage and go scan this coral node. Coral. Killing some species of Typhon will direct damage. With direct damage can be extremely difficult, but unaware or disabled enemies take more damage. That was a big turning point for me, was finally getting in the habit of not just opening up with both barrels. I've been thinking about the video Alex showed you. Your brother believes that version of you is the true Morgan, but why? Just because it came first? If someone had made you, then I suppose your truest self would be the one that fulfills whatever purpose your maker intended. I know who made me and why. Did someone make you, Morgan? Were you made for something? If not, you'll have to invent your own purpose. Or have none at all. Strangely, of all the things I know about you, I don't know what you believe. You have to decide, Morgan. Who are you? Yeah, so here's them being like, look, there's two versions of you that have told you what to do. But neither of them is the official version until you decide it. I've looked up the treasure on solutions. Yeah, we can do that. Hang on. Let me, when we're done grabbing this coral node, I'll go back to her computer just so we can knock it off the list. Cause that's one that I probably, without cheesing it, I don't think I would bother with that one. That's an awful lot of effort. I like that this person died in a very like photogenic fashion right next to the Transstar logo. Who are you friend? Hello. Oh, it's Mike Devlin, everybody. We were worried about old Mike. All right, let's go check the coral. Yeah, I mean, the maps, I don't think the maps are very badly drawn. Like, they're actually pretty clever. And if you were to take and stare at the the plans of the the different, like, deck maps, they would line up. I just... I ain't got time for that. I'm glad someone did it for me. I'm glad that the information's available on the internet and that you were kind enough to look it up. <laughs> like, I know someone really enjoyed the puzzle, but that, that ain't me. All right, this coral note is proving to be a harder thing to locate than I thought. Curse the 3D nature of a engineered body floating in space. So do I have to get like in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, because here's an enemy. We about we about to rumble. Hello, friend. 
I might not even have to get that close. Looks like I do. Hi, bud. Peace, nerd. Oh, this is gonna let me get inside here, I see. So it's in here that I have, oh boy. Uh, hi guys. Um, we have not done the Grant Lockwood quest. All right, so there's some shit going down in here. Oh, and I'm all irradiated and stuff. You gonna, you gonna turn off, bud? Okay. There's him handled. This guy, I think we're just gonna bum rush. I am soaking up some freaking rads. Those cystoids got out. Shit. I don't wanna kill this operator if I can avoid it. But I don't wanna get cystoid to death either. Oh boy. Alright, Weaver dead. Be careful not to die. All right, get you hacks. Yes. I think the cystoids are basically cleared out. Whoop. Famous last words. All right. Coral node needed. And there's a human corpse. All right, so here we can scan you. Scan complete. More specimens required. Fascinating. It's holding the psyche of all their victims. Oh. Your hunch was on the right track. It's a kind of neural structure. Synaptic like activity up and down the length of it, like it's communicating. I can't get to that course. Just one more to go. I knew you could handle this. Our father warned me not to stake so much of the company's future on your ideas. I was right to ignore him. We're a good team, Morgan. Who says our father instead of just saying, like, dad? Man, the coral is like hypnotizing. That's the way I came in, so hang on. I think we had another exit out this way. It's a pain, but you can finish it the first time you go out into space. He's like 200 meters away from the station. Finding him is by using the middle of the ship. Find the lion statues and go straight from the direction they're facing. It lets you essentially double jump indoors. Holy shit. Daddy didn't love me? Well, we're going to be headed outside the station, so we'll go take a look. Um, what's my oxygen level at though? I don't even remember how to read that on the HUD. Where is my nearest oxygen station too? That's not, that's not great. All right, hang on. Let's get out from this clogged up portion. Authority. Oh, almost crashed. Yeah, his is called Disgruntled Employee. And that wants me to activate his tracking bracelet. The shuttle bay for the airlock is locked. All right, so. Here's the lions. We're right at them. So I guess maybe we go take a peeky peek. He's out from the lions, you said?
Oh wait, there's a ton of lions. Father to them is a sign of respect and a higher authority. Very clearly, they've got that like creepy family portrait we always see. All right, there's a ton of lions. Can I get in over here? Is that why this has got the multiple objective signature? Is this a airlock that I've opened? Sure feels this way. This is hardware labs. Oh no, is it pointing me over towards cargo bay? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Describing describing which lion to go out from does seem like it would be a difficult thing to describe. All right, let's pop in here. Nice of hardware labs to still be accessible. Whoa. You guys good over here? They're actually a decent case for using the Q cell gun. All right, we're just gonna smoke past them. Peace nerds. Oh no, I missed it. <laughs> Pitch black, like trying to navigate and stubbing your toe. Well, that's like, that's why it's always so hard to talk about space, right? Like. I enjoy space and space related games and, and books and stuff. But anytime someone's like describing a sector of space, I always just like my brain numbs at it. Yeah. Afterlife, the audio design when you're out in microgravity and out in the vacuum of space is really good. They do a great job of it. Yeah. So this one we unlocked earlier. That's why. Okay. Ooh, poltergeist, eh? Where? Hi, bud. Well, that solves that. Thanks for coming out. Ooh, another one. Where are you, friendo? I think we're gonna just take our leave of you, sir. Oh, I can't get out through this one. Oh, that's right. I knew that. That door's been messed up the whole time. So how did I get in and out of here last time? Did I have to use the airlock? No, there was a normal way out of here, right? Or did I like peek in through the doors? Oh, that was just to get up to their like hidey area, right? Yeah. So we just we just gave ourselves another dose of cancer level radiation for no reason. Oh boy. Why you got to be that way, son? Moon door repairs unavailable. Why would I want to go down there? Maybe I can't go anywhere else in here. I had thought that we found a different way out of here, but apparently not. Is this when I had to go and use the first trip outside? We've definitely come in through this door before. Because the first time we ever came in here was hooked over to this side. Cargo conveyor damage detected. Sure. So this is just broken from this side now? Unless I had leverage three. Well, that kind of sucks. All right. Well, I guess back outside. I don't have repair to, to fix the door anyway. Or to fix the, the console for the moon door controls. Let's go scan our other 
choral note, I suppose. Microgravity detected. Oh, hi guys. Critical attack against cystoid seems pretty unnecessary. Corrupted science officer out here kind of sucks. This is a human course we apparently have not found. Oh boy. I ducked my real life head, that felt bad. Pretty low on ammo. We gotta go back to the office to talk to Igwe and Ilyushin anyway. So we're gonna use the fabricator when we're there. I don't have a ton of metal though. All right, airlock to the shuttle bay is locked. There's my other coral node. I don't know what those are. The self-destruct key. All right, let's go to the coral node. The zero G controls feel so good in this. Like better than they really deserve to. Doesn't look like I go in through there. Ah, but I could go in from here. Follow, follow the coral. Is there a way for me to get in here? Or is it just leaking from the ship? Looks like it's just leaking out. Let's get up level with it and then I can look around. Psychotronics lobby then division. Fifteen meters a second while boosting with the upgrade? Hell yeah. Yeah, they still want me to be in the exterior. Are you still following me, dude? You got you got gumption, kid. I'll give you that. Have fun out here, buddy. All right, my coral node's only 20 meters away, but is it on the other side of a bulkhead? That's my concern. Yeah, it's like right below me. Sorry for anyone who's watching that gets motion sick. Because I'm just bebopping out here now. Imagine this in VR. That would probably get even me motion sick. I don't have a whole lot of problem with motion sickness just like naturally, like in cars I don't really struggle. I can sometimes depending on the circumstances, but man, VR, certain VR games get me real, real nauseous. All right, I'm not understanding something here. Yeah, it's like the dizziness factor, right? Like, I know that's kind of a really silly thing to just describe motion sickness as just the dizzy thing. But since I don't have a history of motion sickness, that's kind of all my brain can equate it to. So how in the hell coral node, is it not from outside? Do I have to go inside first? Is it through, like, guts or something? You get seasickness? I don't think I've ever gotten seasickness. Like, the worst I've ever gotten motion sick in a vehicle um, 
is like we went camping in the mountains and my wife drove and like her her driving with me not being in control of it and it, it's certainly had nothing to do with her driving because she's an excellent driver but i just like the switchback roads through the mountains were enough to make me so queasy like call me crazy i feel like this is probably a good indicator of how to get near coral what with you know all the coral but apparently i'm wrong short vision makes it worse yeah like so skull that's just stomach feels strange right like that's such a nebulous description of it but it's because it's such a weird feeling that you can't really equate to anything else so you just have to default to stomach feels strange that's kind of what i mean when i say the dizzy thing because i just don't have another frame of reference to describe it with all right so let's just we're gonna scan through solid steel Get this quest done. We did it. All right, Alex, give us your, uh, give us your arming key. Like, am I just insane that I don't understand what's going on here? Dopamine is what that science operator just said. I would like the dopamine hit of finding out how the hell to get near this coral. I feel like I've flown in circles around it about 80 times. Advanced driving license, being in the same car as him, you feel like you're breaking many laws. I have uh, one friend who is like a very skilled, fast driver. And while it is exciting, it is not a thing I enjoy. Where was my oxygen refill station that was over here? That's maybe my one complaint I have about the zero G segments is like they seemingly cut off your discovery nodes way before you get to them. All right, let's use this human corpse as a guide, perhaps. No, even that won't work because they're on the other side of an MF and bulkhead. Oh, both of them are in the same area. So I left foolishly. Well, then how the hell do I get back into it? The first one led me right in there. Now I'm never going to find the hatch to get me back inside. Let me try this. Let me get all the way out from inside the guts of the system. And maybe try and approach it from the opposite side of the station. Ooh, relocate. You're going to hit. There we go. All right. So there's my coral node. So let's go to the opposite side of the station. Stay somewhat flush with the coral node. Wait, is that the way in? Oh boys, this looks like a hatch. All right, so this is definitely the one we were in first. So the other one is over here. Oh, hi, sister nests. Hi, friends. Oh my God, if I had left a half second later, we probably would have found it. This didn't blow this one up, really? You better do something. The reconstruction is destabilizing. They're lying to you. Hurry. Search complete. Excellent work. 
All that's left is integrating the data after you upload it. Hard to tell from just a scan summary, but... Wait. What is... Da -da -da. Some kind of... Fish is here. Built into the coral. Da -da. Christ. Morgan, get back to my office. We have to get your data uploaded now. Hurry. All right, so that was a trippy experience. We're not gonna go straight back to Alex's office. I think what we're gonna do here is head back to my office to fabricate my plans um, to get more bullets, but also we've got a meeting with both Igwe and Michaela. So I think that's next up on the old docket. At least like it doesn't feel like it when you start the game, but it's actually pretty easy to get around Talos. Like the more you play, that's why I say I feel like this game is most like a Metroidvania. Like as you unlock shortcuts and different ways to, to traverse the station, it winds up really not feeling that big. I'll tell you just in case, but going too far into the story will lock out some quests. Okay, so then I'm probably what we'll do is, like I say, I think we're going to go back to our office. And then maybe we'll do side quests. Um, what time is it? It's like 1030. Okay, so we'll hit our office and then probably take the midstream break. And then from there, we're going to have to make some choices about how much side questing we do. Because I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't mind beating this tonight. I wouldn't mind beating it Tuesday night. Like either one of them is fine with me, but I don't want to split the stream between two different games. So if I can fit it in tonight, that's great. If it's not going to make for a full stream on Tuesday, though, I'd Here's like to avoid to pushing it into Tuesday. I'll get it integrated into the fabrication plan for the new null wave device as fast as possible. And be careful. The Typhoon will begin to sense our intent to harm the Coral. They're going to come after you. I left something for you on my desk that should help. Okay, well, we're not actually doing that yet, friend. I want to go back to the elevator. Starting the game, it feels huge, and on, on replays, it feels smaller. Well, so, so Skull, right before we played Prey, I had been playing Dark Souls, um, and it actually feels a lot like that where god damn it that thing zaps me every time i go by all right first of all you can eat shit second of all time we fix this thing um dark souls has that same flavor right where like these levels feel massive they feel so huge but it's because the first time you explore them you do it so tentatively and then later you can just like sprint through his own in about two seconds never played any of the from software games i had dark souls was the first one that i had played in earnest at least from the Soulsborne franchise i played some other from software stuff back in the day because i played like armored core um but it was the first of the Soulsborne games that i played all the way through and i really enjoyed it but like i say it's definitely got a lot of that same the world kind of changes scope as you get more accustomed to the game world and you're right talos one is definitely the same way it was it felt enormous when we first started that first moment walking out into the lobby was uh was a pretty eye-opening experience and now i'm like i literally show up here in the lobby and just sprint to my office what up telepath we're actually not going to F with you because I don't have a ton of ammo. All right. We got to go face the music, which seems like a pun because we're going to talk to Igwe about Lightner. Uh, but it's actually because we got to talk to Kayla about her dad. So I'm thinking this doesn't go over great here. All of Arcane's games are like that. Hi, Morgan. Hi, Michaela. Morgan, hooked up some more supplies. Take what you need, and don't be shy about using it. I don't think they will. Cool. Your office is relatively secure. Come back if you Morgan. need to rest or use the fabricator. Hi. Don't worry. 
Not about me in January, anyway. I don't understand. The two of us can hold down the fort here. So what? What am- I thought we were gonna talk. Uh, I have not played the Dishonored series that is your namesake, Dishonored Skull. I'm ready, Morgan. I tried Dishonored 1 and just didn't finish it. I played it for like two hours. You really need to organize your tools better. I would hate to see your living quarters. So do I just play the recording for her now? Let's see. Yeah, listen to it with her. Here we go. Um, where was it? That's the Lightner music sample. Notes. It should be audio logs, right? Exactly like Prey. And basically, oh, I transferred it to my thing. Doesn't show it. Is this a joke? Huh. That's super weird because we definitely did this. We transferred it to our office. Listen to the final audio log with her in my office. We transferred, but there was an error. I don't think it had a pop up where it told me that we it like yelled at me because we transferred something unauthorized. But if it was an error that I had to correct, wouldn't it have told me that in the computer log? Weird. Hang on. We'll talk to Eva and get his first. success in calling up more fabrication plans. But I did have a design for a psychoscope chipset I've been tinkering with. I'd be honored if you found some use for it. Man, y'all just showering me with chipsets. We gotta check out what that nonsense is, too. Backlack has a chance to return damage to an attacker. And Igwe gave me boost the amount by electrostatic burst. I've been trying to see what I can access from here. It did say but something about the lobby, but it's because my office is in the lobby. Like, that's the area we're coded for while we're in my office. Thank you. It's a strange feeling. I hold Lightner's gift to the world in my hands. He will live on. I wish my wife could have heard him play again. That was brave of you, to recover the connectomes for me. I... I appreciate it. I appreciate all you and Transtar have done for me. I don't know how much I appreciate what you've done for Transtar, because you've definitely facilitated some of our more monstrous activities. Got stationed in engineering because Paraplexus prevented me from being a pilot. Now, a pilot's what we need. This is so weird. All right, let me try this real quick. I'm going to try and take the lift is this a joke? and come back. Like, maybe the game has a protection in place where you can't do both quests simultaneously. Activate the quest. I think I have it activated. Yeah, we have it activated. We'll just reload the zone and see if that helps. Um, the game has like a really, it does a really bad job of preventing NBC, uh, NPCs evening, from Carlos. like it's tripping on each other, from talking over one another. So Carlos maybe they coded it in in such a way as to make sure that you can't accidentally trigger both quests. I don't know that that's the case, but it's a good enough theory that I'm willing to try. If it's just bug, that's a bummer. Um, but like you were saying, Skull, yes, I, I started it but didn't finish it, which tends to be my MO. And that kind of is the, uh, the reason my backlog is what it is. You've done both before in a playthrough. Bummer. All right. Well, that somewhat nullifies my working theory.
Well, I, I can only assume that someone who threw Dishonored in their username would recommend Dishonored. I love the aesthetic of Dishonored. I love that, like, kind of Wailing Town Arcana that it does. Um, I, I honestly, I can't remember what it was that made me put Dishonored down. It was probably just I started playing it and found something else to play and stopped. I do enjoy stealth games. I'm not super good at stealth games. But I think Dishonored gives you a big enough toolkit that, like, that isn't automatically a death sentence. Um, when I go on break, Skull, I have some links I'll throw in chat. You should pop into our Gilded server and throw it into my official suggestions thing. So that I do not forget about it. All right, Michaela. Casually summons rats. I'm feeling much better. Legs are fine. Vision's clear. Those boosters did the trick. All right. Well, I'm glad the boosters did a trick because that's the only trick I have for you. It looks like I can't do your quest. Mod. Huh. Let me double check in the audio logs. Yeah, it doesn't look. That's fine, Grant Lockwood. I don't see it here. You're gonna look it up? All right, well then what we'll do is this is probably a good spot for me to take the stream break anyway. So what I'm gonna do is pop off to go and fill well, my water on. bottle while you're taking a look. And then when I come back, we will hopefully have solved the case of the disappearing evidence. I hope I didn't hit the wrong button and accidentally delete it. <clears throat> I think it would have changed the quest though, so. All right, I'm gonna go fill it.